Hi, stamping friends. This is Anne Marie Heil. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas, and I am coming to you today with a re recording of my Friday Facebook Live video from Friday, June 16th, 2023. <laughs> I had some technical difficulties once that video posted. Um, we had some accessibility issues and Oh, I don't know what happened. So I just went ahead and deleted that video and I'm just going to do a clean recording of everything that I did in that video for my Facebook live. So it's going to be, um, I do go live normally face on Facebook Fridays at 4 PM central. So this is just going to be a, a little bit late. It's going to be recorded and posted on YouTube, but it's going to have all of the information from Facebook Friday. So um, just to let you know, a couple quick things. I'm going to, this is my agenda. We're going to make a fun card today featuring the beautiful balloons bundle from Stampin' Up! in the annual catalog. I'm also going to announce some prize winners from my Facebook Live. Um, and then I'm also going to talk to you about my club because there's just a couple days left to register there. And then we're going to get busy and we're going to make a card. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do this video just like I would do like my Facebook live, except um, obviously I'm not live. So there's going to be no interaction. So I'm just going to kind of take you through everything and um, we'll go ahead and get started here. So as I mentioned, I do go live on Facebook Fridays at 4 p.m. Central. Um, for my project that I do on Facebook Live, just to let you know, I do share a project sheet for that project to my email subscribers. So if you'd like to be on my email list, there is a link to sign up in the description of the video. So if you're watching this on um, YouTube or Facebook, on YouTube, you just go up to where the title of the video is. There's a little drop down menu and you can find all of my links up there as well. There'll be a link to my online store, my blog, all of my social media, and also to sign up for my email. Um, so as I mentioned, a project sheet will go out to my email subscribers. The project sheet will have measurements and a full supply list for the card that we make today. So um, if you'd like that, that is something I, I give for free to my email subscribers. And it also keeps me in touch with you. I can let you know about upcoming classes, promotions, events, and things like that. So I would love to have you sign up for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. I have a host code here if you do need to purchase any Stampin' Up! product, and you do use this host code in the month of June. I um, do have some extra goodies that I send out to my customers, so um, there's more information on that over on my blog as well. So let's go ahead and let's get started today. We'll move this bundle over because um, on, on my Facebook Lives, normally what I do is for every for the card that we make on the Facebook video, I um, actually will give that away to one person who shares my video. So just to get more folks watching us and um, in an effort to just be able to come to more people and be able to bring you guys some more content. So um, this is last fr Facebook Friday's project here. It is a fun seed packet pocket card, which is a mouthful. Try to say that a few times fast. And this is just a fun little card. And on the inside, it holds a seed packet. So this is just a nice little gift, I think, to send to a friend. It's a little bit more than a card because they can plant their seeds. And then when their flowers bloom, every time they see them, they can think of you. So I just love sending seed packets. Um, I just think it's a fun little fun little gift to send to a friend. So this was the card we made on last Friday's Facebook Live. And for everyone who shared that video, I put their names, whether you shared on Facebook or YouTube, I put your names into a drawing and the winner is Cindy Howard. Cindy, congratulations, you won the, the seed packet pocket card. <laughs> However, I need your address. So if you could send me an email at annemarieheil at gmail.com and just um, message me your address and I can pop this little guy in the mail to you. And then um, also I do a second drawing for everybody who comments on the video. So whether you're watching live or watching the replay, as long as you share or comment by the next time I go Facebook Live, you'll be entered into the drawing. So for everybody who commented, I put your names into a drawing and our winner is Mary Ellen Ryan. So congratulations, Mary Ellen. I have a second card that I can pop in the mail to you and um, want to say congratulations to you both for um, commenting and sharing the video. And um, like I said, I'd love to send these little cuties in the mail to you. I just need your address. So if you could just drop that in the mail to me. I do hold prizes till the next time I go Facebook Live. So just keep in mind, as long as I hear from you by the next time I go, um, next time I do my Facebook Live, um, I can get these cards out to you. And if you don't want the card, that's totally fine. Not a problem at all. Um, I can just um, 
give it to someone else or I can use it myself. That's totally fine too. So here we go. Next up, I want to share with you, there are a couple days left to register for my monthly club, which is called Cultivated Creativity. Cultivated Creativity is a just a fabulous creative club where I send you a beautifully curated packet of crafting goodness, comes right to your door, and you can just have fun crafting. All the design and prep is done for you. All you have to do is stamp and put it together. So we couldn't get more easier than that. So let me tell you a little bit about that. So every month for Cultivated Creativity, we focus the projects around a bundle. So in this case, maybe the glare is a little better here. Um, so this month we are featuring the Layering Leaves stamp set and the bow punch, which coordinates with it. So you will need, and I know you see my ceiling fan up there, sorry. Um, you will need this bundle to create the projects in the kit as designed. However, if you don't have the bundle, you can add it onto your kit, um, or you can just purchase it on your own, or you can substitute something else that you do have. But what you will need for cultivated creativity is you will need three things. You'll need the bundle that we're using. So in this case, the stamps and the punch, you'll need your inks and you'll need adhesive. Those things are not included in the kit. Um, what will be included in the kit are cut materials for you to create five beautiful projects. You will have a, up to $20 in consumable product. So that could be designer series paper, ribbon, um, different embellishments. It could be a bunch of different things. Um, and so you will get product to create the projects that are in the kit and you'll have some extra left over to keep creating as well. And then all of your cardstock and um, pieces will be cut for you to put your projects together. You also get envelopes for all of your cards. Now the five projects include four cards and one non-card. A non-card could be anything from a box to a treat holder. This month, it's a cute little notepad holder, which is super fun and functional. <laughs> I love it. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek of this month's projects first, um, or uh, coming up here, but wanted to just give you a little bit of insight to the club. Now the club, you can stay as long or as little as you'd like. Um, you can sign up if, if you're interested in layering leaves this month, you can sign up for this month. And what it is, is you'll sign up for a subscription. Um, that subscription will continue until you cancel. So if you find that there's a month that maybe you don't um, enjoy the bundle or the projects don't appeal to you, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and cancel um, and you can come back anytime. But I, I sure hope you'll stay because another perk to Cultivated Creativity Club is that if you stay for six months consecutively, you do get a thank you gift from me, which is valued at um, up to sometimes over $25 in Stampin' Up! product. So <clears throat> let me show you a sneak peek. So as I mentioned, we're using the Layering Leaves um, stamp set and bow punch this month in the projects. So you will need those. Oops, I'm just gonna move these off my desk, take it up a little more room. And then our projects for this month, I'm gonna do a little flyby here. We have some fun cards featuring some beautiful designer series paper. We have another seed packet card. This one's a little bit more elaborate than the one that we made on Facebook Friday. And then, I have another fun card. All of the insides of the cards are also decorated very nicely. I believe in no naked insides. Here's a fun fold. And our non-card is this cute little notepad holder. So as I mentioned, you will get everything you need to put these five projects together and you'll have extras to make some extra product as well. So I would love to have you join me for Cultivated Creativity. The cutoff for signing up for the June kit, which is the Layering Leaves kit, is the 20th. So June 20th, 2023, as long as you register and pay for your kit by that date, you will be guaranteed to get that kit. What happens on the 20th is I go ahead and order all of the product for you. <laughs> then we go ahead and get your kits cut and packed and ready to ship and all kits ship out by the first of the month. So my goal is to get them out a little bit earlier with the July 4th holiday this month. So um, so that's the plan. So, and I know um, a lot of you who may be watching 
our Cultivated Creativity subscribers, I want to thank you so much for your subscription. I love putting these kits together every month for you. And it's just, it's so easy. It saves you time. It saves you money because everything is already cut, designed, and prepped. And you can just sit down and enjoy crafting. And isn't that really what it's about anyway, you guys? I just think that it's so nice to have a bundle of product that comes to your door and you just get to have fun putting it together. You can obviously put your own spin on it too and have some fun with it, but it's just nice. There's a PDF tutorial that comes as well via email to you and it tells you step by step how to put the projects together. It couldn't be any easier. So I sure hope you'll join me for Cultivated Creativity. There is a link in the description of this video that you're watching to sign up or please head over to my blog at stampinand.com and on the top of my blog there's a little header on the top for Cultivated Creativity. You can get more information there as well. Okay so I want to let you know that because like I said we do have a deadline coming up for that and I don't want you to miss it. So let's go ahead and get creating today. We're going to create, as I mentioned, with the beautiful balloons bundle. This has a beautiful stamp set. This was actually our Cultivated Creativity for last month. We featured this bundle. And, you know, I did want to show you guys. I forgot. I did want to show you guys how the club comes packaged to you. So I'm actually going to pull that out real quick just to show you. So we have um, your package will come to you all wrapped up and ready to go. And then inside, this is what a sample package would look like. So you've got all of your product in there. We had a cake mix <laughs> last month, that's included. All of your cut materials are included inside. And then your consumable product, there's paper in there and all kinds of good stuff. Um, we've got ribbon embellishments. And um, oh, I also forgot to mention, <laughs> in addition to the five projects, you also will get a bonus tutorial that's included in your club kit every month. And you'll get the tutorial emailed to you. That card, which is the sixth project, I actually create that for you. I make that card as a thank you gift. Here is last month's. It is completed. It has an envelope in there ready to send. Um, so this is the bonus project. And then you have the tutorial if you want to make more because you'll have some of the consumables to put that together. I also put a treat in every kit. There's always something to snack on in there. This one has a fun little tag just to dress it up a little bit. So this is also a thank you gift to customers as well. But this is how they come packaged in a fun little bag. There's also a little letter in there from me that tells you what's inside and all that good stuff. So I sure hope you will check it out. I forgot I pulled that to show you. <laughs> so let's get back to stamping now. Beautiful balloons. So that kit you just looked at was the beautiful balloons kit from last month, which was my May Club. I do have a couple extra of those, um, just so you know. So if you have the beautiful balloons bundle and would like to purchase one of those, I do have them available. Um, Cultivated Creativity is $39. That includes shipping. So that's all in. That's everything. So $39. It includes your priority shipping as well. So if you do want one of those kits, you can send me an email email at annemarieheil at gmail.com. I do them first come first serve. Um, so please don't comment on the video that you're watching if you want one of those just because I don't always get notifications um, in time, but um, I'm going to do it by email. So if you want one of the beautiful balloons kits, send me an email and we can connect. Okay, so let's talk about this bundle. We have the beautiful stamp set and it has these lovely coordinating dies. And I love that they coordinate not only with the stamps, but you have some freestanding dies here as well that will cut out like individual balloons, this cute tag. This is like a fun little like fringy um, border. There's stars, confetti. This is just a really fun, fun bundle. So we're going to make today, <clears throat> I'm going to show you in the catalog real quick, the coordinating product with this bundle. So this bundle has... Some beautiful designer series paper and the reason i'm featuring this project today is designers this designer series paper is one of the patterns that is on sale in the month of june 2023 from stampin up it's an additional 15 percent off so i love pattern paper and the only way I could love pattern paper more is if it's on sale. <laughs> so, so it's always a great deal to get a little more bang for your buck with your crafting products. So I love that this is 15% off right now. It's a beautiful array of patterns. Um, works beautifully. It coordinates beautifully with this bundle. And um, <clears throat> there's also some specialty paper. I'm so sorry. There's a little frog in my throat. There's also some specialty paper that's called Gold Celebrations. And I'm going to move this up just a smidge. 
it's kind of tough to see, but there's three patterns. It's like a window sheet. There's a polka dot, a confetti, and a star pattern. And um, we're going to look at that a little bit closer in a minute. But it all coordinates together to just create some beautiful projects. So what I'm going to focus on today for the card that I'm making is I'm going to show you how one layout, um, one pack of designer series paper, and this bundle can create some beautiful cards. So I'm going to make one here on the video and then at the end i'm going to show you three different alternatives exact same layout we just shifted up the patterns maybe shifted up some colors and create can create a beautiful pack of cards so <clears throat> on my facebook live video that is now deleted um we did a little vote about what pattern we were going to use for the card i made live and we were between these two patterns of so the big dots or the little squiggles now the dots won, and I have that card completed to show you at the end, but I cut the squiggles, so I figure that's what we're going to use for today's project on this redo. And again, if you'd like a project sheet with all the measurements and a supply list that I used, um, sign up for my newsletter, <clears throat> and that will go out to you. Let me take a sip of iced coffee here. Okay, sorry, I had a little frog in my throat. Okay, so we're going to take the same basic layout and... I'm going to show you how to maximize your designer series paper pack. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started today. <clears throat> oh, goodness. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay, so we're going to start with a color palette of Berry Burst and Blueberry Bushel to get started. So we're going to have a card base here that's Berry Burst that's five and a half by eight and a half scored by four and a, er, scored at four and a quarter. We're also going to have a Blueberry Bushel piece that's four by five and a quarter. And then our little squiggly designer series paper piece here on the back. It's a beautiful, um, pretty peacock design. I saw someone use this um, pattern online the other day, and it was really pretty as a backdrop. Um, but we're going to use the bright and, bright and pretty squiggles today. Um, this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And we're just going to go ahead. <clears throat> Ooh. It's Saturday morning here, and I have a little frog in my throat. <clears> throat> The Texas allergies are tons of fun. So <laughs> if you're like, I'm super sensitive to a couple things down here in the air and um, something's clearly getting in my throat this morning. I apologize for that. Hopefully it'll work itself out here the more I, <laughs> the more I press on. Um, all right, so we're just gonna go ahead and put these layers together. And like I said, this will be the same basic layout for all of the cards that I'm gonna show you at the end. We're just gonna shift up the pattern that we're using and you can create a beautiful assortment and collection of birthday cards. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always need birthday cards. Every time I have a birthday coming up, I'm always digging into my stash and I never have enough. So this is a nice way to sit down with your pack of paper and just make a bunch of cards at once <clears throat> so you have them. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's gonna get annoying if I have to keep clearing my throat. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna work through that. All right. So we have our card base ready to roll. Next up, let's go ahead and take a peek at, here is a close-up of that um, specialty paper, that gold celebration specialty paper. We're going to use the confetti print here. And as you can see, it's like a window sheet, and it has a shiny gold um, little confetti pattern on it. What's neat about this is you have a little versatility because you can flip it over the back is silver. So if you'd rather do silver on your project, you can just flip the window sheet over and you have two colors. So gold or silver, you decide. But we're actually going to use the gold confetti. And I like this because it adds a little bit of shine and it adds just a little bit of interest to your project, but not a lot of bulk. And that's what I really like. So I am actually going to do a layer of bubble bath cardstock. And I'm going to do the same size layer of this gold um, celebrations specialty paper. And I am just going to layer one on top of the other to create an extra layer on our card front. These are four and one eighth by two and three quarters, I believe. <laughs> you might want to refer to the project sheet for that, um, or somewhere, somewhere close around that measurement. Um, now to adhere your a specialty paper, this um, window sheet paper, it's really easy. We're just going to put, I'm going to put a little layer of tape runner, um, stamp and seal, whatever kind of tape runner you have in the middle here. I'm going to cover it up. The key when you're adhering 
these window sheets to your projects is you want to put the adhesive where you're going to put something over the top of it so it can't be seen. So as you can see here, let me just push that down with my <laughs> shirt. I don't want to get a fingerprint on it. So as you can see, if I move up here, you can see the adhesive behind the um, specialty paper. And that's fine because we're just going to cover that up so it's really not a big deal that you can see the adhesive, but it holds really nicely and that's all you need. You just need a little, stri a little strip of adhesive. We're going to go ahead and adhere this to the card with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, once you have your adhesive stuck down, you wanna be careful about putting your fingerprints all over it, because it will pick up your fingerprints really easily. But you can just wipe that off with a little cloth to get those fingerprints off before you start putting everything else on if you, if you need to. So, so we're just gonna put a couple Stampin' Dimensionals on here, and I'm gonna put this at an angle. And if you visited me before, you know this is really hard for me because I, <laughs> I like everything really straight on my card. So putting it, things down at an angle, ooh, it's a struggle sometimes. But I think it's fun on this card because this paper is really fun and whimsical and I think it works. So we have that stuck down and we have that icky adhesive spot, but we're going to cover that up. So we're going to use that cute little tag that was in the die set. That's the back. Um, I already went ahead and pre-cut this. I really like this because it cuts out this little cute confetti border. I just think this is so whimsical and fun. So we're going to go ahead and heat emboss this. I'm going to use the sentiment, happy birthday, and we're going to stamp in Versamark and heat emboss. So before we do that, I'm going to use my embossing buddy to get any static and any oils from my fingers off of my cardstock. So there, it kind of, this is like a little, it's almost like a little pouch of chalk, if you will, or powder. And when you put it down, it just removes the static. So the embossing powder sticks to the image, but not the rest of your paper. Okay, so we're going to stamp this in Versamark ink, which is a clear ink. Stamp straight. To get quiet when we stamp. <laughs> okay, so we have that stamped. And I'm going to use, I have these little silicone hands here that'll help hold this while I heat emboss. So I'm going to use, look at my cute little plate. I showed this in the video on, on my Facebook Live. I found these at, I think it was TJ Maxx. They're Ray Dunn. And there's a set of three. I think there was stamp color, and I can't remember what the other ones were. But I just thought they were so cute. I had to have them in my craft room. And um, they're perfect for embossing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some white embossing powder on my tag. I'm a smidge off center, but it really doesn't matter because the way I'm doing this design, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna put a big star right here. So it's actually gonna work to my benefit that I think it's a little bit farther over. So it's okay. Oops, except look, I missed a little bit. I missed a little bit of embossing powder on the H there. We got it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this off to the side. I'll clean that up later. And now we're just gonna heat emboss this. I love the look of white heat embossing on darker cardstock. I think it looks really cool. I'm gonna heat up my heat tool off camera here just a little bit. I don't think this is too loud for you, so <laughs> but it'll be over in a minute. Heat embossing is one of those magical crafting techniques. I just think it looks so fun when the powder turns to a solid image. Look at that. I love it. And it's nice and shiny and just has a really, really nice look to it. Okay, so we have our little tag done and we're just going to go ahead and put that down with some Stampin' Dimensionals as well. This card has a lot of dimensionals on it, but it's not super bulky. Before I stick this down, I'm gonna add a little bit of ribbon. Now this ribbon that I'm using comes from, <laughs> can tell it's well-loved. This comes from the Wib Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. Um, and it has this beautiful lemon lime and um, petal pink ribbon. So you get two ribbons. Um, another ribbon pack that is really nice with this um, designer series paper in this suite is this one here, which is the sheer ribbon combo pack. This has three rolls of ribbon. 
there's lemon lolly bubble bath and azure afternoon so there's three different rolls of ribbon and it has this really fun like silver edge on it too so this is another ribbon pack that would work really nicely i took a poll on my live video when i did it and this was the ribbon that won so i'm just going to stick with the continuity because the additional cards i have to show you also use this ribbon so and i'm just going to fold it in half loop it through right here and then simply pull it through. I think this is a little bit more ribbon than I need, but I'd rather use more than not enough. <laughs> so, and we'll just pull that through and just kind of knot it through our tag. And there you go. Quick and easy tie. Just adds a little bit of extra texture and finishes off the tag really nicely. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm not going to give this a huge push just in case I have to move it because I'm going to stick it kind of where I want it. I think I should still have the ability to pull that up if I need to. Um, okay, that's right about where I think I want it. Now what I did was I went ahead and I just took some cardstock and I cut a bunch of different stars. So I cut one large star in Berry Burst and then I cut a variety of little stars in let's see I did berry burst azure afternoon I did some in lemon lime twist and I think this was left over from the project yesterday bubble bath so I just have some little stars and now what I'm going to do is just arrange these stars around my tag till I kind of get a color palette that I like and I think I'm going to use the same color palette I used yesterday because it works with this as well. <laughs> so we're just kind of going to arrange a couple stars. I just love how the stars are so bold and they just make for a really fun impact um, with the different patterns and the embossing. I just think it all works together really nicely. Now I did want to point out to you, if you wanted a little bit more pattern on your stars, you could very easily, there is this fun little balloon image in here that has some confetti on it and um, you could just stamp that over your stars if you wanted a little bit more pattern on them um, to make them pop a little bit more you could even heat emboss them and clear if you wanted some shine or you could take one of my favorite products <laughs> i gotta find my full one um which is wink of stella or stink of wella um, as as we call it my friend julian calls this stink of wella and um, it is a glitter brush pattern it's actually its name is wink of stella but when you say stink of well, it kind of sticks with you. But you just brush this over your stars and it kind of puts a glitter overlay on them. It's really cool. And um, so that's a nice way to add a little bit more sparkle too. Or you could just leave them plain. I think that works too. I think that's what we're, what we're going to do on this card. So let's put these down with some more dimensionals. Just kind of going to arrange my see how where it was okay that our happy birthday was over just a little bit gives us some room for this big star which I'm not mad at <laughs> I think it works out okay there we go and then oops, looks like I have some stamping on the back of that <laughs> I guess I recycled that piece which is perfectly fine that's why cardstock has two sides if you mess up your stamping it's still great for a star <laughs> so here we go peel these off and I'll just kind of I'm not pushing these down completely just so it gives me some wiggle room to get them aligned the way I want them so I hope you all had a great week out there and if you watched the Facebook live video and commented I apologize I could not access your comments so um and I could see a few people who shared the video and I wrote those people down. Um, if you did share the original Facebook Live video, just leave a comment on Facebook. Um, I'm going to put this replay up on Facebook or on YouTube and I'll enter you into that drawing as well. So I do apologize, guys, but sometimes technical things happen and <laughs> I, I did my best. I um, uh, You never want to expect those things to happen, but sometimes they do. So, but we're going to make a clean recording and at least have the content there 
And I would love, if you're watching the recording, please leave a comment. I would love for you to say hi. Let me know where you're watching from and um, all that good stuff. And oh, oh, I cut that terribly. Let's get out the, let's get out the big scissors. I got to get out the special ribbon scissors. That was all jagged. <laughs> <laughs> these scissors are huge um i always feel weird when i hold them because they're so massive and heavy um okay so we have our little tag we've got our cute little layout i love these stars i just think this is so fun i kind of want this star to like the end of it to be on top of the tag but famous last words <laughs> i don't want to rip my card i like it i'm gonna leave it where it is next up we have to add embellishments because no card is really complete without an embellishment let me see where I put them. <laughs> Here are some. So these were the embellishments that I opted to use on the card um, yesterday. We did a, a vote for either sequins or these. And another embellishment that would work really nice on this card too are these fun little, these are adhesive back sequins trio. These are the um, embellishments that we're using in Cultivated Creativity Club this month. These would be pretty too, or these really pretty, these are called Tinsel Gems 4-Pack. And I know it doesn't look like there's four colors, but there are. So there is a, oh, I've got a straggler. <laughs> there's Lemon Lolly, which actually kind of looks like Lemon Lime Twist. I found it when you put it near the lemon lime twist color, it kind of takes on that color. So we have lemon lolly, berry burst, um, blueberry bushel, and I'm not sure what green this is. It doesn't tell me. It does in the catalog, but it's a it's a little bit of a darker green. I don't I don't know garden green. I don't know. It would work on a variety of projects though, but we're not going to use that one, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm actually going to use the berry or blueberry bushel, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to pop a couple of these on the card just to dress it up a little bit. We're going to use five. I used three on some of the projects and five on yesterday's card, and I really liked it. I just thought it made a nice little pop of embellishment. And this is still pretty mailable. You might need that. You might need the additional ounce postage stamp on it, but it's still really mailable. And isn't it fun? I just love those stars are just so, I don't know, happy and cheerful, and I think they work. Now, the next thing we need to do is dress up the inside of our card. If you've ever visited me before, I don't like a naked inside. <laughs> so we are going to use, I had a little leftover piece when I cut this. So as I mentioned, this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And this is just kind of the leftover end of the piece. So it's three and seven eighths by about three quarters. And I'm just going to put that on the inside of the card along with couple of those extra stars, but I'm going to stamp first, <laughs> just in case I smear my ink. I'm going to use this coordinating sentiment that says, I think it's time for a celebration, which I think is kind of cute. <laughs> we'll stamp that in blueberry bushel. And there we go. Okay. Stamping is done. And that's another thing too. This card has pretty minimal stamping. We just have the sentiments. So can make a fun little card with very minimal stamping. Let your designer series paper be the star of the show, right? Let me put that down on the side here and it just kind of fits right inside this white layer, which is four by five and a quarter and inches. <laughs> and then we'll pop in two stars. I'm kind of loving Let's do Lemon Lime Twist and Azure Afternoon. We'll do these two. That poor little bubble bath star, it wasn't used on the live video and it's not being used today. We'll find, we'll find a home for her. <laughs> She's not gonna be on this card, but there's a home for her somewhere. All right, and that's it. Cute little inside keeps the continuity and the party going from the front, if you will. So here we go. And next up, I'm gonna show you three alternatives that essentially are the same, same exact layout. We just use some different patterns of designer series paper. So if you have this pack of paper, you've got lots of ideas to create some birthday cards. 
Ta-da! So cute, right? I love this. And that little bit of window sheet on the background just adds a lot of fun. So here's our card with this fun little layout. Now let's look at some alternatives. Here's the card I made on Facebook Live yesterday. <laughs> That's no longer there. <laughs> That's the one that we used with the dot paper. So again, uh, this is exactly the same. All I did was I put basic white back here um, behind that layer and we changed up the designer series paper. Everything else is the same. It's just a second look at that card. Super cute, right? Here's another look with a different pattern. This uses the stripe paper. And all I did here was, so on this one, I used Berry Burst for the card base along with Blueberry Bushel for the layer. I just reversed them here. I used um, Blueberry Bushel for the base, Berry Burst for the layer, and then I did the tag in Berry Burst as well. Changed up the color of the stars a little bit, and then I used those sequins I just showed you um, as well. So here we have three. And then a fourth card is this one here. This one's a little bit different. I did not use the gold celebrations paper. I actually just used a layer of basic white and this is cut with the deckled rectangle around the edges. And then I did some um, embossing with the basics embossing folder just for some texture. And I used the more dazzle um, sparkle paper, paper, specialty paper <laughs> for some little glittery stars on this as well. Um, and that there's a lot of sparkle in that paper, but I just thought it was kind of fun. I used it with the star background to just kind of give a little bit different look. So you could do the stars in the sparkle paper or even a metallic paper. There's a lot of varieties just to add a little bit more to it too. So what do you guys think? Do you have a favorite between the four? I just think this is really fun. As I mentioned, if you have this bundle and this pack of paper, here you go. You've got four birthday cards made and ready to go. How fun is that? <laughs> and they all look similar, but a little bit different based on the pattern in the background. So I hope this encourages you to and inspires you to have some fun with your crafting supplies um, and your designer series paper, especially if you don't have this bundle or this paper. Remember, the paper's 15% off right now. Um, so it's a great deal in the month of June to get an extra savings on the paper. I love this. I have a couple extra packs of it. <laughs> so I am very excited to just create a bunch of birthday cards with this. And I hope you are as well. So thank you so much for joining me for the replay of this video today, which is kind of not live. It's recorded. It's a little bit different. I know, but thank you so much for bearing with me while I got through that technical hiccup and, um, Again, if you want the measurements for the project along with a supply sheet of what was used, then make sure you're signed up for my newsletter. My newsletter will go out today, which is Saturday, June 17th. Um, so if you do sign up at a later date, you will get a project sheet in the newsletter. You might not get this one. So just keep in mind, I normally go live on Fridays. My newsletter goes out on Saturdays and it includes the project sheet for that Facebook live. You'll get a second chance to get it next Saturday. So every, um, every week in my newsletter, I do the current week's Facebook Live project sheet and the week prior. So just so you know, based on the dates, um, like I said, you will get a project sheet. It might not be this one, but um, you will definitely get one if you're watching this at a later date. So thank you so much for watching today, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or a heart. I would love your support on that. And I will be back with my normal Facebook Live or maybe a YouTube Live. I don't know. We might be going to YouTube Live um, next week. Stay tuned. I will definitely let you know. And um, I look forward to crafting with you then. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Take good care and happy stamping out there, everyone. Bye, everyone.